Willkommen zurück beim Witcher und wir sind immer noch auf der Suche nach Jack the Ripper. Zumindest wirkt das so, denn wir haben eine düstere Detektivquest in Arbeit. Ein unbekannter verletzt Frauen schwer. How's it look? Give it to me straight. No sugarcoating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Also ich weiß ja nicht, ob diese Quest irgendwie an Jack the Ripper angelehnt ist, aber irgendwie das sind es auch keine Prostituierten, die hier verletzt oder ermordet wurden, soweit ich weiß. Ich habe allerdings ein bisschen das Gefühl, also wer From Hell kennt, das Comic von Alan Moore oder den gleichnamigen Film, der könnte einen Verdacht haben. Schauen wir mal, es ist auf jeden Fall sehr spannend. Take the ladder. Wer das Comic bzw. Graphic Novel nicht kennt, äh, kann ich demjenigen nur wärmstens ans Herz legen. This is the sehr, sehr, Come. The quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Sehr, sehr coole Ripper Geschichte. Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Pastodi. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Also, wir suchen die Leiche eines Zwergenschnitzers hier im Leichenschauhaus. Ich finde nur überall Blut. Looks like Necrophage has got to this one. Das ist ja ganz schön cool, das Szenario. Was gibt's hier noch? Human, wrong body type. Na, gehen wir mal außen rum. Gibt ja viel zu entdecken hier, ne? lagert denn in einem Leichenschauer so viel Bier? Klar ist das ein Job, wo man auch mal abschalten muss wahrscheinlich, aber dann gleich so. This isn't it. Die liegen hier einfach auf diesen Pritschen rum. That's gotta be him. If this one's a she, remember beards are no indicator of gender amongst dwarves. Let's keep looking. A dwarf, but the hands. Not a carpenter's. A banker's, more likely. If I were a carpenter, and you were a lady. Ich 
Schönes Lied. Sehr tolle Version von, nicht von den Carpenters, sondern Bobby Darren, auch viel zu früh von uns gegangen. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood? Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Ugh. Ja, dann fangen wir doch mal äh, oben an. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt. Like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes. And some grey dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. Uh -huh. Just like Priscilla's. <coughs> Incision made into the voice box. Indeed, so thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. But why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. Afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochran was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin, an incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay. And why his throat scalded. Okay. Was ist mit dem passiert? Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience. Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagor. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen, toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard, right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. Yeah, apologies, we surgeons. We've a different sensibility. Mm-hmm. And a different sense of humor. His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and... Shit. 
Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. All right. Think I know enough. Enlighten me, please, because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. Hmm. Ich weiß gar nicht, ob ich ihm das sagen will. Ritualmord, Herz rausgeschnitten, vorher mal die Hüt trinken lassen, Augen rausgebrannt. Ich finde, das klingt eher nach Strafe, vor allem wenn er sowas ähnliches mit Priscilla auch vorhatte. Vielleicht wussten die irgendwas zu viel. Mörder ist wahnsinnig, das glaube ich nicht. Ein Motiv hat er auf jeden Fall. Aber... Ich sag, es war eine Strafe. Und ich behalte meine Schlüssel jetzt mal lieber nicht für mich. Sure of one thing. This was punishment. Even the witch hunters don't engage in this kind of torture. What sin could possibly merit it? Only the murderer knows that. And it's the key to finding him. Or her. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy. But I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted. Drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. You old friends. Hubert taught me the rudiments of medicine. Long ago. And not very well. You've still not mastered certain basic principles. For example, that a doctor's role is to treat the ill, not save the world. Der ist doch viel jünger. Not changed a bit. A compliment? No, a statement of fact. 30 ah. years and you've not changed a bit. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate of Far Corners. That poor Trebirons was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in, under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. Nathaniel, who is he? A scoundrel, a rogue, like every man who wears the robes of the eternal fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer, delighted especially in torturing women. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the temple guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the temple on the aisle, and so forth. Hmm. Dream job. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. Hmm, da würde ich schon gern mehr wissen. I decide when we're done with the subject. What's your connection to him? An old story. But if you insist, the student protests in 1242, you've heard of them? I led them. Hubert, however, denounced me to the authorities. I landed in prison. There you have it. What will you do now? 
plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. Ah, so was mag ich. Yes, Geralt. These murders. Got any suspects? No, Geralt. Though all in all I should have. What do you mean? By virtue of my profession, I know Novigrad's underworld better than most. Dozens of mercenaries, racketeers, bandits and hired assassins have had their turn on my operating table. Rogues, one and all. But I believe even they could not kill in this manner. So horribly cruel, yet cold, methodical, with absolute precision. Concluding this overlong explanation, I've no notion who's behind it, but I fear them like hell. Why is the university in Oxenford closed? Because it suits Radovid. You've not heard the story? The rector wished to grant him an honorary doctorate. The faculty disagreed. Nonetheless, Radovid arrived for the ceremony, donned a gown, collected his diploma, and when it was over, imprisoned the deans and the entire academic senate so they wouldn't raise a stink. I've been at Vilmeria's hospital ever since. But perhaps it's for the best. I'm far more adept scalpel in hand than I ever was behind a lectern. Know another surgeon from Oxenford Academy. Her name's Shani. Know her? Red hair, cropped short, freckles. And a hopeless idealist. Naturally, I know her. She was my assistant for a year. Any idea where she is now? My gut tells me she's somewhere along the front, patching up pikemen. I told her it would be futile. In the time she saved a hundred lives, another thousand would be lost. But medics with a mission. You can't argue with them. Farewell. Okay. Also drei Ziele haben wir. Die Gasse, wo Priscilla angegriffen wurde. Der Ort, an dem der Schnitzer starb. Und den Leichensammler Eustachius. Der weiß vielleicht auch was. Was ist denn hier? Ah, hier sind wir gleich. Der ist gleich in der Nähe. Dann suchen wir doch den erstmal auf. Hm? Hallo? Ja, genau, so. Mal sehen, was der zu erzählen hat. Oh Gott, wie es hier schon wieder aussieht. Was ist da passiert? You, Eustace, the corpse collector. I? How do you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no art. One of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? <laughs> sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One was so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of her. <laughs> Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, shame that was. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. You search Fabian's body? Whoa. I... Oh, yeah. Cost an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Piece off, mutant. No, no, no. Talk. What did you find on him? I, oh, as you wish. Triflings, baubles. 
glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner sell it as new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We short of wenches in this town. Get out of my sight. Now. Was ist das denn für ein Mörder, wenn hier gleich, wenn die hier gleich dutzendweise rumliegen? Das ist so krass. Mann, Mann, Mann. Aber eine coole Krimi-Quest. Mag ich sehr, sehr gern. Mochte ich auch bei Assassin's Creed gern. Bei Unity. Mit eins der Highlights bei Unity. Und bei Syndicate gab es ja so Krimi-Quests, die nicht besonders komplex waren. Also man konnte dann nur irgendwie bei allen möglichen Suchpunkten A drücken und dann hat sich der Fall mehr oder weniger von selber gelöst. Man konnte dann nur den Schuldigen zuweisen. Aber war trotzdem sehr cool. An dieser Stelle sei auch äh, das Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments empfohlenes Let's Play von mir und Fritz. Der zweite Teil, der weiß ich gar nicht mehr, Devil's Daughter oder so. Der ist dann nicht mehr so der Hit, aber das erste kann man sich auf jeden Fall mal anschauen. Das ist sehr schön. Gut, hier ist ein Tatort. Daib. How am I to know? What Man's team is what he does? The murderers, maybe. Wait on his heel. Took a step back. Wo kommen die denn jetzt her? Armer Städte. Was will der von mir? Not too late to surrender. Was habe ich denn denen jetzt getan? Den Hexer an. Oh. Return to the scene of their crime. Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up pouring, pick up a decent trade, but none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. 
Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Na klar. Aber dann müsst ihr mich auch in Ruhe untersuchen lassen. Nicht zwischendurch angreifen. Priscilla's. Murderer fled before the guards arrived. Ran this way. Got a problem. A brazier. This time of year. Was ist denn mit diesen Quallen hier? Oder dem Geruch? Ah. I know that smell. Formaldehyde. Das passt alles schon mal ganz gut zusammen und hier haben wir eine Spur, die zu der Mauer führt. Äh, sehr, sehr spannend. In der nächsten Folge müsst ihr wieder dabei sein, dann äh, sehen wir, wie es weitergeht. Bis dann.